All right, YouTube. Today is dry the night. So the idea for today is I try to uh, deflect the engine for this Mazda again. So I will take out the spark plug and dry it out and try to uh, shoot some more of this uh, ATF plus four. That's the transmission fluid to the chamber. And then we'll try to start it again, see if it works. All right, let's do it. I really like this car, but the reason I can't get this running, I don't know why. This car has been sit here for at least six months. I can't get it run. Because this car, I bought it is with dead, and the owner, the previous owner, told me that it's used to be running pretty good. And one morning, and he start go start up the car, it started right up, it just just shut it down, and after that, he cannot start it again. As when I listen to what he told me, I thought it was the engine is flooded, but I tried to deflood many times and still don't get it run. Check out the air, comp uh, you know, the, the uh, compression in the engine. All four of them, the four spur plugged out there was like 90 PSI. That's a very good, that's a very good number. So, we'll see. We'll do it to, again. Okay, 
it should be okay. This is the key. There you go. Right. This is this car, all the, uh, this was the manufacturer stuff. You still see the color. And this car is still very low mile. I don't know why it doesn't start and run. Oh. I'll put something underneath. Oh, my security. Oh, I, I will try to, uh, take out the spark plug and dry it. The spark plug is right there. It's kind of hard to see it. Okay, uh, folk, all the spark plug was took it out right here. And, uh, that's a brand new plug they will uh, put it in. And uh, it looked like the, the spur plug is wet. And uh, I will try to dry the spur plug. The, then I will use it, this tool to light up and uh, like this to drive it out. I would do all this is for the demonstration only. So I would do all four. I might not report every single one I do but the same process for so every single one. Have we got this dry and I will put it in, plug it back into the engine and try to start it up. Okay. I will use this transmission fluid to shoot into the, uh, the engine chamber. I will shoot to the lower one, the lower one, which is like, as a leading. I will shoot to both of them. I shoot the ball 10, score 10, and then, oh. Okay, now, 
Looks like they deflate the engine. Yeah, go ahead. Do it again. Hold the brake, uh, hold the gas pedal all the way to the floor. We we'll put the old clothes here to prevent some uh, water that's shooting out from the engine or the gas that's shooting from the engine. And uh, try to prevent that shoot all over the place. Okay, do it again. You hold the gas all the way to the floor. Yeah. Okay, do a couple more times. Yeah. And this is how you deflect you this is how you deflect your engine when your engine you can't get it started, but I don't know, folks. Try one more time. I think you're good now. Yeah. Interesting. Right now, all the spark plug are dry and this is about putting back in there okay okay now time to put the spark plug back in it kind of tight you really can't see it but
right we put the spot plug in and uh we we'll try to uh start the car again okay time to put the tire back and <laughs> so happy the Mazda started, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. See, the car, the Mazda is running right now. I'm very happy. So, that's it. The procedure how to deflect the engine. And it's walk you through a couple times, but this one's a set. see a little bit of smoke coming from the out of the tailpipe because it shoot the, the transmission fluid to the engine and shoot the oil to the engine that's why we'll but it will be cleared out in a minute <laughs> that's what I'm talking about
my car just parked in here and somebody just scratches this scratch no engine light no check engine light the car is running very smooth that's what I'm talking about I'm gonna let that car run uh, for a little bit. See how this thing works. Okay, the car been running for it's about eight minutes now. And we'll shut off the engine and we'll try to stop right and see if it's working. Yeah, Yeah. The car is working. Mazda is working now. So we'll try to put it everything back. We'll try to put the air box back. And the air box is in the back trunk. The car running very, very quiet. I really like it. Now we are trying to uh, test drive. Right here. I think this car has been sitting too long. Smoking like uh, some burning oil. Yeah. Yeah. This young man, he really like this car. Every time he comes to my house, he like to jump in this car. Can you tell me why you like this car so much? Is it a Supra? Huh? Because it's a, a Supra. Because you like the Supra? Because it's a Supra. Uh, it is a Supra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this little man here is the car genius. Sport car genius. Tell me how how many kind of cars you know so far? Mm, maybe 20. 20? It's more than 20. Uh, 100? 100. You know at least a 100 sport car, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, right? Okay. You know yeah. Lamborghini, you know Bugatti, you know Supra, you know Nissan GTR. How fast you go now? <laughs> we'll try to clean the air box here and we'll install the air box back but I think we need to replace the air filter the air filter is so dirty look at that so filthy it's been like nobody changed the air filter, air filter before. Install the air box. Give me one second, buddy. You have to click that thing. There you go. Yeah, the clip. Just two. Uh, give me a, a four. A Phillips. 
Okay. So I can tighten the hose. I think. Let's see. This hose. Okay, I'll help. I'll help you. Fly. This thing needs to use the force a little bit to push it. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yes. Yep. Man, I wonder how um you got the crafts on the Okay, you go start again. See if the car start start back. Me? I'm gonna talk about talk to Uncle Tim. Okay. Oh, you got the key. Okay. You got the key? Oh yeah. Give it to your Uncle Tim. No problem. I put the air box in back and we try to start the car again. This car running. Now you can drive this car again. Yeah. The whole time with this car sitting here, it's a, it's an engine flooded, and you just don't know. All right. Can you go and get uh, Auntie Dorothy's car key? The car has been sitting here for at least six months. No, like, not this year, like, like, four times like time. Huh? How long have this car been staying here for? Six months. No, it's more than, almost a year. Almost a year? Yeah. We bought this car back in the, uh... 80s? No, October. Um, almost October. October 2021? Yeah. So the car has sit here for a long time. Yeah. Alright, the moment of truth. We're gonna drive this car. At the little man here. We're gonna get to the back. So this car have the suicide door. Yeah, it's running. Here's the car coming. 